that's a new song. I'm excited about it. Uh, it's called Namaste. Everybody knows this mantra, which makes it very accessible. And uh, I'm going to be doing it in my concerts. This is the kind of the premiere of it. I have a recipe for bad moods. It's meditation, asana practice, move the body, clear the mind, move the body, and make some music. It's a recipe. It works every time. And then after that, I cook. Those three things always get me in a better mood. Is that four? Meditation, moving, singing, and then cooking something yummy and delicious. I'll get you out of any bad mood. That's my recipe. My life is a mixture of music. So it's both meditative and uh, relaxing and also uh, inspiring with fun pop melodies. I don't think I would be honest if I said I'm just this person and I only listen to meditation music. I think as human beings we're not just always happy and we're not just always sad, hopefully, and we're not just always angry, so the music is a reflection of that. I used to be on the road a lot more. I used to be on the road for eight months, nine months of the year, but that became a little bit too much, so I have moved back to my own country, uh, which is the United States. I now live in Los Angeles, 20 minutes from my brother and my nieces, and hopefully soon my parents who are moving there. And I have a great life in LA now. I work um, doing music with seniors living with memory loss. Um, I also do yoga with them and meditation, which is great. My crazy little girl socks. I bought these socks for my nieces, and then I realized because I have the smallest foot that I would buy these socks for myself. So, that <laughs> so I'm a little kid. Sometimes I feel like an old lady, and sometimes I feel like a little kid. Seldom do I feel my own age. I don't even know what that is anymore. I'm also meeting my really close friend, Laura. She's from Dembaus. She's gonna meet us at the festival. She's actually there already waiting for us. She's going to assist me selling CDs and help me out. Okay, we got everything. Luke is my dear friend from Belgium. He's here at the festival as well. He's teaching yoga. He also sings, so he does a mantra yoga class where he puts people in poses and then sings sweetly to them. And he's driving, so I think we're meeting him down here. Yeah. Thank God, we have a car. I'll be really happy that um, I cultivated the relationships that I did, that there were people along the way that I met and I kept feeding those relationships because I felt like they were worth it. You know, relationships are like plants, you know, they have to be fed or they won't continue, especially over great distances and great time, which a lot of my relationships are. They're across an ocean, they go great lengths of time without seeing one another, um, and I continue to give them love. The process of making music is always different for me. Uh, sometimes the lyrics come first, sometimes the music comes first. The best case scenario is when they come simultaneously. Those are generally the best songs. Uh, like we talked about in the hotel, I'm very inspired by relationships, by the human spirit, by the power of the human spirit and the power of connection of the human spirit. So a lot of times there are relationships, love, loss, loneliness, dreams, all these things that um, make us very similar. Um, no matter what country we live in, no matter what kind of background we have, those are the things that connect us. So those are the things that seem to be drawn to the most. We have to check the sweater shop. Last time we had a big hit here. They have beautiful, handmade, warm, cozy, 
wrap me in one and keep me in there for a week sweaters. I'm not really interested in yoga as a whole lifestyle or a dogma like going from Christianity and following a bunch of rules to now yoga and following a bunch of rules. This is not for, for me it's pick and choose. So meditation works for me, mantra works for me. And these are the things that I incorporate into my life. So it's nice that we live in a world with a lot of choices where we can pick and choose how to make our life feel better, work better, flow better. Before I practiced yoga, my life, I mean, I don't have a story where like my life was terrible and then I found yoga and then I got good. I don't have that story. I had a good life and it got better. <laughs> um, I was very heavily involved in theater. I think I started to practice yoga like most people, just to feel good, to get a better body, to become more flexible, all the reasons people generally take a yoga class. Um, and then from there it just became a deeper process of inquiry. Um, many years later, I think after seven years of practicing asana, I really found the music of yoga, the mantra, which which has been very transformational for me, being a bhakti yoga, we say, like that which is devoted to devotion to the love of life and um, and keeping on this path and trying to live a life that feels um, driven from the heart instead of driven from the head. It's a very nice happiness souvenir, don't oh. you think? And it's very you. you very colorful. Yes. Oh, yeah, perfect. With my boyfriend and any other <laughs> friend that wants to get in there with me. Okay. It's nice. It's a, I like the model. It reminds me of the back. Look at the magazine. Come on. If this is high. Plus the colors. Come on. Plus the colors. That's pretty yes. happiness. Happiness. It is. When I look back at my life and I am old, I hope that I will be really happy that I took a lot of risks. I didn't go the easy route. I didn't become, I don't know, a secretary and marry someone from high school and just be done. I really kept it adventurous. I always say on my tombstone it will say it wasn't boring. <laughs> and it will be the truth because it's really not boring and, and I'll, I'll be really happy that I allowed the music to take me. And I'm really happy that I took these risks because um, it's not an easy life, you know, when you it's a life of uncertainty. You have to work really hard. It's not a, 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 you don't go into it for the money. You don't go into it for the security. But um, I'll be really happy that I, I let it take me. I gave over to it. Not to say that I don't have bad days or hard days or challenging days, um, but I like what I do. I like the choices I've made. That I feel good about. Oh